Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you three alarm clocks that I have used at some point in time. Um, none of these clocks I actually use anymore. I've only powered them up for this video. And all of them are showing the correct time. Well, they might be a little off because this one might be running a little fast or I set this one a little minute too late. But, you know, clocks are never going to be exact like this. But they're just, you know, a general understanding. Like, if you really need precise timing, you just use a timer. But anyways, let's get started. Alright, so the first clock I used was this Lego clock here. It's blue. And it's copyright 2010, but I actually got it in 2012 at Legoland Florida. So yeah, um, I used this for a while. It just stayed on my bookshelf, but unfortunately, the alarm doesn't work in it anymore. I remember dropping it. And it just stopped working. And you can see the settings here. This will blow fast. You've got you got setting the time here. This is 12 hour and 24 hour mode. Then you've got the alarm and time. And you got a lock so that nothing gets adjusted. And just set the hour and minute. It just goes up from 0 to 59. So, you know. And over here, just is turning the alarm on and off. And with these two buttons down here. It lights up. So at night, when you want to check how much time it is, you just slam on top of it. And it doesn't turn off immediately. It actually slowly fades off, which I think is actually pretty cool. I don't have any other clocks to do that. But yeah. I think, that, I think that's cool. And um, I would demonstrate the alarm to you, but it doesn't work. So I can show you it doesn't work. It's 11.21, and I had it set for 11.22. So now we'll see if it works. But it won't work. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, pressing down is also the snooze button. So, yeah. In fact, all three of these, actually, all three of these clocks... The snooze button is also the light button. All these clocks light up. So I'll show you that later. But I'll show you right now that the alarm this doesn't work because it's broken. And as you can see, that's when the alarm should be going off, but it does not. Cause it's broken. All right, on to the next clock. All right, so this is the next clock that I've used because that one over there broke, so I couldn't use it anymore. And this one is cheaper, but you know, we just I just went to the city and picked this up real fast because I needed a quick replacement, and to be honest, I kind of wanted this too. But yeah, it's just this gel gel thing. I don't know. And I don't. And it's probably not the best quality, but you know. Anyways, that's uh, pretty basic. No dates or anything, no copyright on it. Just says Jalga and uses quartz timing, which is nothing special. Here's the snooze button, which is also the light. This one just has a cheap little LED thing in it, which you just press it. Doesn't look bright now, but at night it, it does light it up, and these hands actually glow in the dark, so it's cool. Over here, the alarm and timing adjusting knob is in the same thing. Right now, in the push in position, it's set to adjust the alarm, which by the way, is just that thing there. You can't adjust by minutes, you only really adjust by an hour, so like 6 or 6.30, you can't really set to 6.21 or something like that. But it works, and you pull it out, you can adjust the time, but I'm not really going to do that right now. There. Yeah. I probably just messed up the time slightly, but whatever. Anyways, the alarm sounds like that. Got louder.
there's the snooze function, and that's how you turn it off. So yeah, it actually progressively gets louder until you finally wake up. So yeah. All right, on to the next clock. All right. So this is the latest clock that I've used. Well, actually, this is not the clock that I use now, but it was the latest out of all these three that I've used. And uh, it's a sharp um, model number SPC500. So there's actually a date on it. There's actually a date on it. It's April 2015. It's behind the battery, but I don't want to remove that battery because then it'll turn. I'll have to reset the clock. And snooze is also the light button. On this one, oh. I didn't know what. Oh, that's not good. I guess the light's broken, or maybe my batteries are running low. I did just take the batteries out of the TV remote, so I guess maybe it's just a little low. But you know, it it'll just light up. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. That's that's too bad. Anyways, you're just the time and alarm pressing the button here, and just pressing the buttons. And the alarm right now does work on this, so I'll set that real fast. Alright, the alarm is set for the next minute, and it'll ring when it turns just to the next minute. So yeah, it gets progressively louder and more annoying, just like that one does. And this one would have also done the same thing if the alarm worked in it, but I, it doesn't. In fact, I actually tried opening it, as you can see, but I've never actually been able to open it yet. It's built like a tank. But yeah. So, then, so that is all three of the alarm clocks that I used to use in the order from left to right of which I've used them however I don't use any of these clocks anymore I now use this clock I made a video on this so if you want to see it I'll have it in the description below but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video you know looking at some clocks I know some of you guys like looking at clocks and hearing alarms ring but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time